Hey guys, how you doing? This is Caleb Dirksen, creator of Caleb Reviews and the Danville Discussion Podcast, as well as future animated series like Me and Father. And man, I have been anticipating this for a long while. Because for such a long time, I would regularly do my digital art on both my old and my current MacBook Pro, and it wasn't very easy using only a trackpad to create line points to the point that it would just slow things down for me, whether it be through photos or scans of my sketches. And the software that I use to make those art pieces is Metabang Paint, which you can get free for any operating system, whether it's Windows, Mac, iPhone, iPad, or Android. But I have done a solid job with that system for that period, such as doing that Phineas and Ferb 4th of July artwork from 2022, where I had the Fireside Girls from Phineas and Ferb in my Napoleonic era. AU as soldiers doing a cannon salute. I really did a good job experimenting with the cannon effects, the blowing of the hair, fur, and feathers, and the silhouette of the US flag at the top of the artwork. So I've been doing this as some sort of a hobby and a bit of a profession too, besides what I usually do for YouTube, etc. Not to mention that the last tablet of its kind that I had was very old, so I couldn't do much on it anymore. But, last Christmas was my ultimate transition to getting the job done quicker and easier as an artist, and that's because I now have a brand new iPad as my permanent graphic tablet and ultra-portable workstation. And here it is. Yes, this is my 12.9 inch 6th generation iPad Pro from Apple. From my custom choices, it of course has a 12.9 inch liquid retina XDR display, a silver finish, 256GB of storage, 4 stereo speakers on the left and right narrow sides, Wi-Fi connectivity without cellular access, an Apple M2 chip, wide and ultra-wide cameras on the back, a high quality micro Microphone, USB-C connectivity, sidecar support for a newer Mac, Apple Pencil support for 2018 and newer models of that accessory, and the powerful iPad OS 17 as its current operating system. As for the accessories, I have the newest Apple Pencil with magnetic technology so you can stick it on the magnetic side of the device and USB-C connectivity to charge the pencil's battery. I got my own blue OtterBox protective folio case for it, which also allows the device to be stood in viewing mode or in drawing mode and has a flap that opens to make room for the Apple Pencil. And I have a third-party Bluetooth keyboard touchpad combo that works like magic so you can use your iPad as another computer. Now, this iPad and all the accessories were already opened before the time I'm recording this video, but I managed to clean the iPad with a dry cloth so that it looks just like new. Now, inside the box for the iPad Pro, there was the tablet itself, which is definitely the best size for anyone with a passion for drawing as I see it in real life. And with it is the power brick, and mine is good enough for the US, Canada, the Philippines, Japan, and Mexico, and a USB-C cable to connect between the iPad itself and another USB-C input, as well as some bonus manuals and some Apple stickers, which Apple typically includes with their products. Then with the accessories, the first two boxes just contained the Apple Pencil and the OtterBox case themselves, respectively. And the last box has that nice looking keyboard with the built in touchpad that connects to any device with Bluetooth, plus an instruction manual to show you how to set it up and use the special keys, and two AAA batteries to power it up. Though I did open the batteries and put them in the battery compartment the first time I opened the box before doing this video, just to test it on my iPad. Now, with that said, let's do some magic to set things up. And now let's see the setup. So here's my iPad Pro in desktop viewing mode. It looks pretty nice. Now let's customize the theme. 
And there's my fan art. I positioned the wallpapers two different ways. In landscape mode, I've got the fireside soldier shooting a cannon, and portrait mode is focused on Captain Isabella and my Phineas and Furbo C. Jillian in her ladylike outfit. Now to turn the keyboard on, and the device that's labeled 10809940HCH1 is my keyboard, so it's ready. The touchpad isn't the best for me, but it still maneuvers nicely as I drag the cursor around the screen and find an app to click on. Next, let's set up the Apple Pencil by detaching from the magnetic surface, opening the USB-C slot, and plugging it in to power it up. As you can see, it has a decent charge, and I can swipe left and right on the home screen with it, so that's my setup. Now, before I get to the drawing process, I want to say that one benefit I may have with drawing with the Apple Pencil is that when you rest your bare hands on the iPad screen when drawing with it, unlike other styluses, you don't accidentally make unnecessary drawing marks with your skin. I mean, technically you could get an artist glove if you want to just in case, but otherwise it's great that I don't have to leave any marks behind with my palm while I draw with the Apple pencil, whether I'm drawing in apps like Metabank Paint, or the one that I just got, Procreate, which is one of the best drawing apps for iPad as it offers even more material to work with all at once. Anyways, now with all that out of the way, I'm gonna pick up the pencil and start drawing. So, for this demonstration, I decided to draw Bart Simpson because not only is he an easier character to draw, but he also has a simple enough design where my hands won't feel like they're ready to wear out after several minutes, including the spiky hair, his shirt, his shorts, his shoes, and also a yellow skin color, on top of being created with various poses and emotions shown by Bart. On a side note, one of the best things about Procreate is that you can use a reference image for free while drawing so that you know what to draw. Another thing to add is that I did the shape sketching first with the pencil tool before drawing with a pen tool so that it wouldn't look so off model. You know, when I set up my iPad folio case to draw, I ended up finding it much easier to control with the Apple Pencil. I mean, yeah, it is gonna take me a little more time to adjust to fully digital drawing with this device and this position, but I was able to maintain control over the shape sketches and the inking, and I will get used to the process once I keep practicing. As they say, practice makes perfect, and I will get the hang of it. As a first-time user of Procreate, though, I wasn't sure how to use the color picker when reusing my colors or where the paint bucket was, until I found out that pressing and holding in the right spot will activate the color picker, and dragging the colors from the swatch in the upper right corner will activate your color fill. Plus, I definitely see the benefits of drawing with a tablet, whether it be a tablet computer like an iPad or a graphic tablet, where it's like having the magic paintbrush from Epic Mickey in my hands that can do everything at my artistic will. Speaking of graphic tablets, I want you to stay tuned at the end to see how my drawing capabilities will work with Sidecar when I connect my iPad and my Mac together. Anyways, enjoy. Now, before I end this video, there is one more thing I haven't shown yet, and that is the conjunction between the iPad and the Mac, namely known as Sidecar. Now, Sidecar has been a thing on newer iPads since iPad OS 13, and newer Macs since Mac OS Catalina, and it allows the iPad to be used as another Mac display that also functions as a graphic tablet with Apple Pencil, so that it can be used in drawing apps on the Mac, such as Meta bang paint or open tunes. So let's see how it works. Basically, I'll start by connecting my iPad to my Mac with my USB-C to USB-C cable. Then I'll open up my iPad. Then I'll go into the control center on my Mac, select screen mirroring, and select Caleb's iPad. 
and there we go. Here's my sidecar wallpaper by the way. It's an artwork I did two years ago for a future cartoon I'm doing, Battle of the Skunks, which has these three young American soldiers firing a giant skunk cannon who farts out a muddy cannonball and green stinky smoke at an enemy troop. <laughs> To demonstrate the drawing test, I'll just open up OpenTunes, which is a free professional animation app for Mac, and then I'll write this little message right here. Nice. Another cool thing is that you can undo any mistake you make by tapping this little button on the sidebar above the keyboard button. And that's that. So that, everyone, was one of my first experiences drawing on the iPad Pro 12.9 inch 6th generation model in which I drew Bart Simpson and tested my demonstrations with the Apple Pencil with Sidecar. Honestly, I had a splendid time with it. The screen, as the Retina display suggests, was 100% clear and drawing with the Apple Pencil was both surprisingly and unsurprisingly very easy for me as an aspiring artist and animator. It works so well and I can guarantee you guys that I will be using this iPad and this Apple Pencil for years to come. Even if this was an expensive bundle that I got for Christmas. Like, for a recommendation, I will say that this is the best iPad that you can possibly get, but because this model is pretty, pretty, pretty expensive, I suggest you save up if you want to get this kind of iPad Pro, but otherwise, if you want a more affordable iPad, I suggest going for one of the other models like the regular iPad, iPad Air, or iPad Mini. Like, always keep track of the price and the amount of money you have. But as for me, this was definitely an investment worth all my hard-earned money, I tell ya what. Yeah, I'm very happy I had the opportunity to talk about this, and I'm very satisfied with the results of my my iPad. And now with all that said and done, that pretty much wraps up this special video. I would like to thank everyone who has helped me earn an even further living for this, and I would also like to thank you guys for watching this. If you like what you saw, consider leaving a like on this video, so maybe this will get you inspired to start drawing digitally like me, and maybe even get your own tablet to do your digital drawings on, like a graphic tablet, or even an iPad quite like mine. And don't forget to subscribe to me and ring that bell to get notified on the latest content I have in store yet. But now with all that said and done, until next time, take care of yourselves and keep awesome. This is Caleb, over and out.